Well, the cost of living is affecting everyone across the UAE and many people are thinking, maybe I should earn more income on the side, but how can we do it legally? That is the question to answer that for us. We are joined by the MD of Versatile Consultancy, a global human resources consultancy and an HR expert. Aditya Gandutra is joining us. Thank you very much for uh, speaking to us on Kitchen Neil. Thank you for being patient with us this afternoon. No problem. Hi again, Kitsunia. We've spoken before, but it's so nice to be with you guys again here. Oh, no, it's good to good to see you're excited. And uh, <laughs> I, I want to get your th- thoughts on the issue of seven ways to legally earn a side income in the UAE. Um, while, while was, before we get to some of the sectors and the way we can do it, is the best thing to really have a chat to maybe your company or your boss and try and work out how this can work around your, your current employment agreement? Yes, you can. In fact, uh, what's very important uh, is to know that having a conversation opens doors always and having a conversation with your boss because everybody has sort of opened up to the idea of the f- and the fact that it, the costs are increasing and actually UAE as a government is providing all these provisions so employers are much more uh, inclusive of us of, or even understanding that employees can do things on the side as long as they're doing their job, whatever they might do on the side is not something which is hindering their employment contract. That's exactly what I did, Kitch, when I took, uh, I, I spoke to the boss and uh, took some days off to do some cricket commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and left me with all the work. Thanks, man. Uh, but, uh, uh, Diksha, we're looking at some of the, 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 the main ones. Uh, what are your suggestions on the way people can, urg- uh, can legally earn a side income in the UAE? So there are a couple of options, and I'll list down seven of them, uh, which which are the legit way of and uh, tried and tested way of earning a side income. Uh, starting with maybe you could rent out your apartment when you're on a holiday. I think a lot of employees on in UAE go for a lot of holidays here and there. <laughs> I see employees in UAE go on more holidays than anywhere in the world. So definitely, when the time you're actually going for a holiday, you can you can actually rent your or give your apartment. Uh, to holiday home companies mm-hmm. and it's, it's legal so there is a procedure of doing it and you you have to obtain a license from the dubai economic tourism department and an noc and you can um then give it to an airbnb and uh, that is one way okay. uh, another way is subletting your apartment so if you have a vacant room in your apartment you can definitely sublet it it mm-hmm. is completely legal um, there are certain laws to be considered, um, like Article 21 states that the official document lease contract must include a commitment not to make any alterations in the in the apartment. And uh, so under the Dubai tenancy law, you can figure it out. And um, that is something you could do. So definitely sublet your apartment. Uh, thirdly, sell. you could easily sell your pre-loved items at a flea market. Um, so we all have our pre-loved branded items uh, and both Dubai and Abu Dhabi gives this provision. So mm-hmm. whether it's a household item, your um, electrical equipment, your books, DVDs, your um, branded clothes, uh, anything, you could just book a stall. There's so many flea markets in the UAE. You could, um, you could just put up and that could be a way of uh, earning. Um, of course, very important way would be if you want to become a freelancer. There are freelancer visa options which are available. And a lot of people, you know, there's so many people I have come across uh, in the finance industry who love baking. You mm-hmm. could definitely take a freelance uh, uh, visa and you could do that on the side. Uh, or like graphic designing, photography, translation. You know, there is so much data and see that's a, that's a high in demand job. So you could definitely get a freelancer um, uh, visa and do that on the side in case you don't have a visa. But these are some things you can do on the side. Or get a part-time job. So um, 20 hours um, per week uh, as an extra part-time other than your 40 hours week, you can utilize and it is legally allowed for you to work. Uh, So you can take a part-time job and nobody can object to it. Um, and there are a lot of um, on like a lot of job portals which are now uh, openly advertising uh, part-time jobs. That's another thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you work while you're at school. So now UAE possesses a valid work permit for individuals 15 years or older. Uh, you just have to apply for a juvenile work permit, which the MORE, the Ministry of Human Resources and Emeritization, provides. You could give that, and you could start working. So. Like students can pick up 
anything. This is, I think, the best time for them to learn, uh, explore, figure out what they want um, for their own personal development. They could pick up jobs as a waiter, waitress in, in the retail industry. They could become admins, data entry. There is endless amount of work one could look at. Or if you really love Dubai and if you know Dubai inside out, you could actually work as a tour guide because that's a. <laughs> well, really now this sounds more. This sounds more up uh, up our street because we we talk so much. What what do you do to become a tour guide in Dubai? Like you know, on the red buses, or you know, when you're just t- telling people when the Burj was built. No, I'll tell you something. <laughs> if you're a desi, you are a tour guide invariably whenever your family and friends oh, are come over. Exactly, family, so, friends, relatives. Yeah. You are a tu- you're a trained tour guide. Absolutely. Then. I mean, ask me anything about this city, and I'll tell you the back of my hand. Oh, okay. In, 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 okay. In what year were the impart- apartments built along JBR? Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> JBR was a strip of pristine white sandy beaches since 1971. <laughs> since the UAE became a union, it was just like that. And now you get to see some top five-star hotels and some fancy residential places. Oh, did I do good? That was 2008. Just see, in case I you want, you, see, you, you don't answer that, 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 that questions that. like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think you, you're fit for that job. Oh, <laughs> all right. You might need to take one of the other ones uh, of the other seven uh, that Dixia recommends. And uh, going back to one of the first ones you mentioned, uh, renting out your apartment when you go on holidays or, or subletting a, a room. People often talk hmm. about this. But uh, just going through, what, what are some of those requirements? If you want to put one of your rooms up on Bizzle or Airbnb, what, what is the process behind trying to get a license for one of those? I think in Dubai, obtaining the required permit from Dubai Economic and Tourism Department and an NOC from your landlord is essential. And if you're living in Russell Kema, I think you need a permit from RAC. CDA, which is their uh, Russell Kema Tourism Development Authority. And these permits, individuals are basically to offer uh, people uh, offer your homes for holiday accommodation so they are supposed to be called holiday homes um, or airbnb pa- platforms is where you could list them um, so basically you need to get that uh, th- um, you need to get that um, permit from DEP. Well, we do appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much because there's some fascinating tips about how you can legally earn a side and come in the UAE. The MD of <laughs> Versatile Consultancy, HR expert, uh, Deksha Gandutra, thank you very much for joining us here on Talk 100.3.